Welcome to Mem Analysis for Hedgehogs. I'm very happy to announce that I have finally created and published my first Mem Analysis course. This course is meant for beginners, but it will not stay that way. So I will eventually create courses for advanced topics as well. Um, now, the video today is surrounding um, explaining a little bit more about the surroundings of why I created this course. So in case you're interested in that, um, if you want to attend the course, please look into the description below or in the pinned comment, I will put a link there. So why did I create this course in the first place? <music> wondering why I'm not wearing any glasses it's because I got new glasses and they have reflection that is for me it's disturbing in the video and I asked a very good friend how to get rid of the, of the reflection in the glasses so he's doing video creation professionally and he actually said just get rid of the glasses it's the easiest way so it, I'm just not wearing them for the videos. I actually like myself better with glasses. Uh, yeah, but it's fine. It's okay. So why did I create this course in the first place? Well, firstly, there are, there are two main reasons for that. Um, the first reason is I was quite unsatisfied. Since I started working as a map analyst, I was unsatisfied with the resources that are out there about what the questions that guide me when I'm starting with the job. And this didn't change in the last eight years. What questions are those? Well, I work at an antivirus company. And as a member of this there, my main task for many years was to analyze files that customers sent in. So they say it's a false positive, it's a false negative, please fix your product. And my task was determine, is this really a false positive? Is this file actually clean? Is this malware? And that's already where it starts. Like, where do you find resources and how you decide it was ice clean or malware? I don't, I have never seen anything that explains to me um, how I can I distinguish clean from malicious samples. Most of the resources out there, they start with the assumption that the file I already have, there is malware. So, and you reverse engineer it to um, find out more about it. Now, that's a very important skill. Of course, like this is the, the, the main skill of web analysis. But how do I find out if it's web in the first place? But the next thing that I, I was wondering about as a beginner was when do I use which tool? What kind of step will bring success for analyzing the sample? So how do I know which step I need to take next? Because experienced analysts, they somehow know what to do. And but as a beginner, you are lost. You are like just, okay, I try aimlessly this tool, that tool, that tool, and eventually something will work. And uh, the second big reason that uh, contributed to the decision to put out a course on a platform instead of publishing everything on YouTube is that I have been publishing free YouTube videos for the last eight years, and I have paid a lot of money to do that. So for instance, there is the um, license for Adobe Premiere, which I used to cut my videos. Um, there is the equipment that I use to create those videos, like the microphone, or any uh, lightning, and anything surrounding that. Um, there's a ton of work that has gone into it, and um, license for Binary Ninja as well. So the reason I decided to put this on a platform where you have where you have an affordable price is so I get at least some of that money back that I put into my channel over the years. The ads of, if I, that I, I get a little bit for um, YouTube ads, but it's like almost nothing. It's like three euro per month. Um, that doesn't add up to anything. So, um, so if you want to support me, this is also a good way to do that. Anyways, that's it for me for today, so I hope to see you around.